Oh, all right, now let's turn to a story that investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein broke earlier today. That ongoing feud between Mayor LaToya Cantrell and the city council president, Helena Moreno, it's heating up. An investigation cleared a sheriff's deputy assigned as Moreno's driver of allegations. He photographed the mayor outside of the city's Pontalba apartments. But as Mike is here to tell us, the report does reveal where the allegations came from. Mike. Well, that's right, Cherise. The sheriff's office clearly shows that the original complaint was made by the mayor herself. With the allegations determined to be unfounded, we're now hearing critics blast the whole episode as political payback. This is just, I think, a bad abuse of authority on the part of the mayor, and the sheriff should never have agreed to this. Rafael Goyaneci of the Metropolitan Crime Commission said the internal investigation against longtime sheriff's deputy Sergeant Greg Malvo never should have happened. Malvo didn't even know what he was accused of until after he was reassigned following this request from CAO Gilbert Montano to Sheriff Susan Hudson. He later learned that the mayor was, quote, livid about, quote, rumors that Malvo had photographed her when she was using the city-controlled apartment in the historic Pontal. It also shows what we have constantly been stating, that this was all just very much rumor-based, that uh, it was really, you know, politics at its worst, and that it was retaliatory in nature. A sheriff's investigator found no truth to the rumors after interviewing 10 people, but only after Malvo took time off. He is now back with Moreno's office. This whole report is just confirmation that this was a political witch hunt. It's <laughs> disappointing to see all this. I think it's all been just a complete waste of time and, and really hurt a good officer's reputation. I think it's going to be apparent for the council to really take a look at some uh, policy changes to make sure that this doesn't happen again to another city employee. Now, we just heard from the mayor's spokesman, Gregory Joseph, who said, quote, after receiving information from the NOPD that raised concerns about her personal safety, the mayor directed the CAO to take steps necessary to address these valid safety concerns. Now, Katie and Sharice, we're still waiting to hear from the sheriff's office on this story. All right, still more to come then. Thanks, Mike.